What's up, guys? It's Jay and Exotics, and welcome back. Shake my hand. How you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Today we're going to be talking about how to tame down your Emerald Tree Skinks. So, let's get started. Hey, before we begin, if you guys like this type of content, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I also post my channel link right around here for you to guys watch more content if you'd like. Thank you. So, you bought an Emerald Tree Skink, and it's skittish, stressed out, and it tends to hide from you. Maybe it's burrowing into the ground for hours, or it's not coming out of its hides. This is very normal behavior. Reptiles do not like change much. So with your new tree skink being introduced to its new home, it has no idea where it is or what's going on. It's going to hide for its comfort so it feels safe. This is all very normal behavior. Let your new tree skink adjust and de-stress to its new enclosure. Everything is new to it and it's just simply scared. You should let all reptiles acclimate to their new homes before attempting any social interaction with them. Too much stress is not good on the animal's overall health. Once the skink starts to feel comfortable, it will start to come out. I'd give these guys a good solid week before attempting any one-on-one -on -one interaction with them. Now the first thing you're going to need to work on with these guys is building a routine and gaining the animal's trust. Trust is a main factor when building a relationship with your emerald tree skinks. They are very intelligent and they observe your every move. From just tending to the cage and feeding your emerald tree skinks, they will soon learn that you are not a predator. You might notice them start to hang out in the back of the enclosure and observe you, but this is a step in the right direction rather than the animal hiding from you. As time goes on, you'll notice that the skinks will start to get closer to you as it observes you. It may take time, so just be patient. Once you notice that the emerald tree skink doesn't mind you in the enclosure, it's now a good time to attempt tongue feeding them. With the insect in the tongs, let the tree skink come to you. It's very important to let them make the first move. Let them realize that you're a source of food and not a predator. Consistency is key and it will eventually build a strong bond between you and the animal. With each successful attempt, I rewarded my tree skinks with treats such as waxworms. Eventually when they trusted me enough to feed them with my bare hands, I rewarded them with Pangea fruit and insect mix from a small feeding dish. Again, this whole process can take a while, so you just have to be patient and don't rush anything. Once you've established a solid relationship over food, it's now a good time to start thinking about handling these guys. If you just reach in your tank fast and attempt to grab the skink, you're going to scare it. Some of their natural predators are birds, and its instincts will kick in and they will hide from you, thinking that you're going to hurt them. Slowly put your arm out into the tank in the general direction of the skink. Just like the tongue feeding process, let the animal feel like it has total control and let it come to you. If the skink resists the attempt, don't force it, just repeat the process another day. Eventually your skink will get curious and it's going to climb onto you. Keep your arms inside or around the enclosure just in case it decides to jump. You don't want your tree skink to fall and get hurt. The skink will begin to explore your arm and let it. You are now their big tree to climb on. These guys are moderately fast, so just be prepared. In my experience, my little guys always try to climb up to my shoulders. In this instance, I just slowly guided my hands in front of the skink and gently redirected it. When it comes time to put them back into the enclosure, you can let them jump back in themselves if they're cooperative. If not, I put my thumb and index finger underneath their bellies right behind their front legs. I let the rest of my fingers support the back half of their bodies. I then gently pick them up and place them on a solid surface in the tank. Like I said before, consistency is key, and while being consistent, you will build a strong relationship between you and your skinks. So remember, let the skink have control in the situations. Take your time and work on the bond between you and your pet. Never force any interaction upon them. So there you guys have it. This is a routine that I developed and followed to build a strong bond between me and my skinks. If you're having any trouble whatsoever, I hope this helps you out. These guys are typically an easy species to tame down, but each individual is different. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to subscribe to the channel, I'll post that here. And if you just want to watch more content, I'll post that right around here. Thank you again.